Hey guys, I'm Stephanie from eHow and I'm here with Jonathan Fong. Hi guys! Fun Fong Friday and today we are doing a couple summer projects for you. So tune in if you have any questions, put them in the comments, we'll be sure to answer and I'm ready to go whenever you are. Yeah, so we're doing, like, like you said, like some summery outdoor things. I think it's perfect. You know, Father's Day is coming up and people are going camping and people are having outdoor entertaining. So, uh, so we have a couple of projects that are perfect for that. Perfect. Yay. So what is the first thing that we're doing? So the first thing that we're doing is making a tiki torch out of a wine bottle. So it's nice for your backyard barbecue or if you're going camping or something. Um, so uh, while we're doing this, you know, if you're if you're watching from wherever you are, let us know where you're watching from. You know, where in Santa Monica? Santa Monica, California. Where it's actually sunny today. The Finally. June bloom has lived. There. <laughs> <laughs> for now. Yeah. So let us know where you're watching from so we can give you a shout out because uh, we, we want to say hi to you. Okay. Uh, and it'll, it'll also let us know that the sound is working. Yeah. <laughs> We definitely want you guys to hear us and learn how to make these awesome, awesome crafts. So. Yeah, so let's get to work here. All right. I'm going to give the directions and you're going to do it, okay? Oh, so he's, let's see how good his teaching skills are. We know he can do it himself, but let's see your teaching skills. What, you're going to blame my teaching skills if it doesn't work out? I mean... No, no, no. No, okay. no okay. definitely not. No, but this is gonna, it's so easy. You, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, these are materials you'll need. You'll need a wine bottle. So first you're going to want to drink all of the wine. <laughs> Never, ever waste the wine by all pouring right. it down the drain. And <laughs> the, actually, the hardest part of this uh, project, seriously, is getting the label off. Yes. Uh, it's really hard to get uh, labels off of wine bottles. Uh, what so, is your trick? Uh, my trick is first... Uh, Soaking in hot water and getting as much of it off, but then after that, there's still all that adhesive, and I use Goo Gone. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I just spray Goo Gone all over it and let it sit for a while, and then I scrub it off, and it's still kind of like weird, and then I, I just wash it with uh, like soap detergent and it comes off. Do you use like a regular sponge or an SOS or does it matter? I what, don't want to scratch what, the one what, bottle. What a great, what a great <laughs> question you asked. Yeah. Uh, I actually use, uh, it's a, a chain link mesh oh. uh, that I use to scrub my cast iron skillet. Okay. A and uh, I use it for this and it doesn't scratch the, the bottle, okay. uh, but, but it's really abrasive because it's, it's just stainless steel mesh. Okay. So I use that. Right. Uh, I got it on Amazon. I use it for my cast iron skillet. I use it for like a lot of things. Uh, so. So what's the next Okay, step? so the ne other thing you'll need is, uh, this is a coupling. You get this at the uh, a brass coupling or a copper coupling. You get this at the hardware store, like in the plumbing aisle. So this is kind of like what it looks like. Uh, I think it's a half inch coupling. I don't really know what a coupling means, sorry. But. That's okay. I, wasn't gonna, <laughs> I actually wasn't going to ask that. <laughs> and uh, you'll need some silicon tape. Uh, this is also, uh, you get this at uh, on the plumbing aisle, usually right next to the coupling. I definitely did not think that was tape when I looked at it earlier. <laughs> yeah, and it's really cheap and, and uh, you use that for uh, you know, different plumbing jobs. And then you'll need a, a torch wick, a tiki torch wick. And there are usually two to a, a pack. And you get this in the same aisle at the hardware store that you get the tiki fuel. So it's really easy. Oh, perfect. They have this at Osh, they have this at Home Depot, and it's they're really basic. Awesome. So I have a question that you will probably cover, but yeah. I'm going to jump the gun. This wick, is it, it looks shorter than the wine bottle. Yeah. So how we're going to go over that? How we're going to... Yeah, well, it, it, up? Uh, it will, uh, as long as the uh, feel is long enough, it will oh, it'll, it'll, it'll touch it. And this will hold steady. Don't worry, this isn't going to fall in. Perfect. We're going to make it okay, so it doesn't good. fall in. That's what the <laughs> coupling is for. Ah, okay. So, all right. Perfect. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is, you know, you, you'll see that the coupling does not fit in the hole, right? No. Okay. So that's why we have the, the silicon tape. tape. Oh, so okay. just wrap the, the base here uh, with the silicon tape. And, and actually you could do either Can end. You, you could do this end or the skinny end. And I would just go ahead and do the thick end of it. Okay, perfect. And it just kind of rips and you can uh, just go around a few times. It doesn't have to look pretty, just stretch it and go around. Do it pretty tightly. 
and then just rip it off and just test. So you still need a little bit more, so just keep going. How's my teaching so far? So far, so good. Okay, so it's uh, very nice. Have, has anybody? Was, we have our assistant here in the studio uh, reading comments. Has anybody said hello to us? Yeah, Kelly <laughs> said, Jonathan, what are your super cool summer plans? <laughs> Kelly wants to know what my super cool summer plans are. My oh, super cool. They're really cool. I am cleaning house. That's my my summer goal is to get rid of clutter and. Uh, have like a clean studio and house this summer. And, uh, and I know that doesn't sound like all that exciting, but for me, it's really exciting. <laughs> How about you, Stephanie? What are you doing? I am going away at the end of summer. In September, I'm going to New Orleans uh, wow. with my family. I'm very excited. Is that thick enough or do I need to go a little bit more? Okay, it's. Uh, it's still a little loose, so I will okay. just put a little bit more tape on it. See, you look uh, on camera here. Uh, see, it, it's it's snug, but I want it to be really, really tight. Okay, so that it would not come out. Right. Okay. So just a little bit more tape. Jonathan, Sarah, and Lynn are both tuning in, and they say they love your shirt. Thank you, Sarah and Lynn. Yay! I'm glad you like my shirt. I have one in white with an the opposite color on it too. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so thank you for mentioning my shirt, it's Sarah and Lynn. It is summery, that's why I wore it today. Okay, so yeah, so this is pretty snug. Okay, so that was our first step. You did very good, Stephanie. Woo. All right, thank you. <laughs> uh, this is pretty easy so far, right? Yeah, I mean, I have a really good teacher, so. <laughs> then you put this wick through the... I'm just kind of squeeze company. it yeah, in. squeeze it in. And push it through. And twist it a little bit. Push it through. It all the way. How far? Uh, okay, so this is going to be the top of it. So oh, okay. you'll Got it. Oh, keep going. And then do we want a certain amount? At yeah, the top? Like, like a half inch. Like that much is good. Perfect. Okay, so, so this is how it's not going to. Got it. Notice? So this will pretty much hold it right there. In fact, I think it could use a little bit more. Just a teensy okay. weensy bit of tape. Uh, and then the next step what I like to do usually is to add some glass marbles here. Uh, you know, we don't have any glass marbles here, but uh, it's just a safety thing uh, so that it doesn't tip over. And it also would be a little bit more decorative as it's, well. It's decorative as well. You know, you don't have to have it, but it's, it's a sex safety and decorative issue there. Uh, also, you'll notice that you don't have to use wine bottles. You have know, like beer bottles. Uh, soda bottles, yeah, oh, cool. they work really well for this project as well. You know, awesome. as long as there's like an opening here, and uh, you can put this in here. As long as you have your coupling. As long as you have your coupling. <laughs> oh, see, so this coupling is very nice and secure now. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Jonathan, uh, yes. Kelly said these torches would be great for a summer party. What cocktails do you love to drink in the summer? <laughs> Stephanie, this is for you too. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you start, Stephanie. A wine, wine all day. I really, I just, I love wine and sangria for the summer, or a nice cold beer, Kelly. Okay. And well, I don't drink, so <laughs> my uh, my favorite cocktail is a combination of orange juice and cranberry juice. Ooh, sounds really refreshing. It is. Yeah, if you put a little bit of uh, spritzer in there, uh, it's just nice and refreshing. You know, the reason I don't drink is you know, I have that thing where uh, I'm allergic to like all alcohol. Oh. Yeah. It saved me a lot of money through the years. I, I can definitely <laughs> attest to that. <laughs> okay, so we uh, I, I, we don't have a funnel here. Preferably you have a funnel. Uh, so we poured it in this glass, and uh, I'm going to make you fill the glass. Uh, fill the All right. Fill this. Let's see if I can do this without spilling. Oops, no. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good there. So if you're just watching, if you're just, just tuning in, we are doing a, a couple of projects for outdoor entertaining and summer entertaining. Uh, and this is a tiki torch made out of a wine bottle. Here, I'm going to make you put a little bit more in. All right, a little more. The more you put in, actually, the more it stabilizes the, the, the bottle as well. And it would last longer, right? Exactly. And let us know uh, if you're watching. This, you know, say hello to us, and 
where you're tuning in from, and how's the weather where you are? Ooh, whoops. Spilled Jonathan, a little bit there. Kelly asks, do you recommend wearing gloves while you're doing this project? Uh, all, all of it? Yeah, put a little more. Uh, Kelly asks, uh, do we recommend gloves with this project? If you're doing it like this without a funnel, yes, I would wear gloves. Uh, but a funnel uh, makes it pretty uh, non-messy. Yeah, I, I would say now. if you don't have a funnel, definitely use the gloves and have napkins nearby. Have napkins Just nearby, case, yeah. Because, oh well, yeah. Fluid. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and then we'll put this in put here. In? Susan is tuning in from Southwest Florida, and she says, finally, there's no rain today. Hey! That's no awesome. rain in Southwest Thank you, Susan, for letting us know. Uh, where in Southwest Florida are you? Uh, let us know. Uh, and Wanda's tuning in from Virginia. Wanda's from Virginia. Hi! 80 degrees there. 80 degrees? Watching. Wow. It's warmer there than it is here. I know. It is, what, 68 here maybe? It's been a cool summer. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to our next project. So, okay. so this oh, we're is, done. Yeah, so we're done. <laughs> this, this is so easy, and uh, it's ready to light. We're not going to light it in here because uh, we're indoors. I wish I, I had a napkin for you or something with your hands. Yeah. Um, um, that's okay. okay. I, I'll wipe it on the tinfoil. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be resourceful. Okay. Moving on over. I think somebody's going to get us a napkin. <laughs> uh, so let's move on. Okay, now we are going to do a serving tray centerpiece at Spectacular uh, for uh, any outdoor party, a summer party, and it is a pineapple palm tree. You guys are gonna love this. It is probably the coolest serving tray I think I've ever seen. Yeah, it's perfect, it's perfect for the holidays. Uh, not holidays, for the summer <laughs> holidays. Uh, and uh, for the full tutorial, thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you. Handy uh, uh, for the full tutorial on, on both this and the Tiki Torch, uh, you know, they're on eHow. So uh, you know, be sure to look for them. Uh, but let me show you how to do this. Okay, we have... Okay. And we've also included the links in the post. So yes. if for easy access, just go to the link and you can build it yourself. Okay, okay. So uh, for this, I have a wood circle. Uh, and I got this at the hardware store and it's already cut. I don't cut perfectly like this, so I got this like this. <laughs> <laughs> and we have, this is a PVC uh, table... Table by cut... Yeah, top. tabletop, just... PVC tabletop, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, get this at the hardware store, actually I think I just got this online. And I have a half inch piece of PVC pipe here. Now, there are many ways you can do a pineapple serving tray. What I'm showing is the most secure way so that the pineapple does not tip over. Uh, because you can just stack up pineapples and hope they don't you know, right, fall over. Right, but maybe one of these would make the pineapples go down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, an errant volleyball could just topple your, right. uh, your serving tray over. So this is, makes it very secure. It would be very sad if that happened. Yeah. So we have this, and I've uh, drilled holes here to fit into uh, the holes here. Perfect. So if you're just tuning in, we are making a pineapple palm tree serving tray. Yes. Did you want me to screw these in? Why don't you screw those in, and I'll hold it for you here. Oh, sorry. Oh. Linda's tuning in from Texas. Hi, Linda from Texas. It's been a beautiful day. How, how hot is it there? 85. Wow. And Pamela from um, Port St. Joe, Florida. Oh, okay. okay. So that, uh, who, who was that? Another Florida. Wow, another Florida. Thank you for tuning in from Florida. And Wendy from Waterbury, Vermont. It's 59 Ooh. degrees. East Wendy from Coast. Vermont, yeah. Hi, Wendy from Vermont. I know that weather very well. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I used to love going to Vermont when I lived in Boston. All right. You did that really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to hold up a PVC pipe that just fits in there perfectly. So here's a question for a non-do-it-yourselfer. Yes. Are PVC pipes, they, have, they come in different sizes. Uh -huh. So you would just... 
It's, it's like it's like <laughs> it's like you're a plant in the audience, <laughs> like asking me the perfect questions. Okay. How, like, how this, do we know what sizes to buy? Okay, this PVC pipe. Uh, at, I went to Home Depot, and they actually sell PVC pipes that are like you know ten feet long or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they have like, this little section where they sell PVC pipes that are two feet long. Oh, perfect! So they're easy to work with. So this was a, a two feet long, two foot long one. I think it was like two bucks. Nice. And I have a PVC cutter. Okay. Because we don't need it two feet, two feet long. Because these are three pineapples, mm -hmm. and you kind of figure okay, how high do you need to make this PVC pipe. So can you hold this here yes. and I'll kind of measure it. Okay, so we want the PVC pipe to be about that high. So a little bit shorter than the height of the pineapples. Yeah, a little bit shorter. All so right. I'll cut it to, to that height there. And I have this PVC pipe cutter that makes cutting so easy. You ever used a PVC? I have not. I feel like I should back away. Oh, no. <laughs> This is like a ratchet style. You know, I'm very wimpy, and even I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there. We're, Almost I can there. feel. I can see it. Boy, I did that on live Facebook, folks. <laughs> I put that on my mind because that was, that was good. I couldn't do it. I mean, okay. I could, <laughs> so, then, so then this fits in there perfectly. Awesome. All right. And then I'm just going to cover this with aluminum foil. One more question about the pipe. Yeah. Uh, diameter. Is, is it like a two inch? Or this one is a inch? one inch. This one is considered inch. a one inch. Okay. And I actually have this already and I took it to Home Depot and just found the pipe that fit it. Okay. Cool. Because I didn't really know what, what, how many inches I had to do it. Got it. So now why are we covering this with tin foil? Because pineapple, fresh pineapple will be going on top of this. Okay. And I don't want the juices to be going into the wood. Okay. And this actually is not your actual serving tray. If you have like a large serving tray, this will go on top of the serving tray. I see. This okay. can be the serving tray, but it's a little small. Right. Uh, so uh, it's up to you. You can just make this, if you just do it like this, it's a great centerpiece. But if you want to like put food around it, you can just put it on a bigger tray. Perfect. So it's up to you. I've actually done this just for like a centerpiece with no food around it. So it's so spectacular. Yeah. You have it, it is such a, a focal unit. Yeah. Very, I feel like everyone will be talking about it. Talk of the town. Oh yeah. I can smell the pineapples from here. They smell so good. So we got every single inch of this covered. <laughs> we are ready to roll. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to roll here. So I've covered this. So if, if you're just tuning in, we are making a pineapple palm tree serving tray. Yes. And let us know where you're watching from. We are in LA. Let us know your, the weather. Hey, let us know what you're doing uh, this weekend or uh, your plans for the summer. And uh, in advance of Father's Day next weekend, Happy Father's Day. Yes, Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. We love you. And, and even the, the guys who aren't dads. Uh, or, or dads to uh, dogs. and. Uh, yes, pet uh, dads. Yeah. They're important too. Exactly. Okay, so then we have pineapple. Now, I pre-cut pineapple. I cut these last night. Okay. And I'll show you what it looks like. That will definitely save us a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> it's also a little messy because they're so juicy. So I have cut holes in the pineapples. So I, I took the core out of each of them. So we have three here. Uh, I think in the tutorial uh, on eHow, I have four pineapples. So you can make it as high as you want. Okay. Because you know, obviously we had, the you know, pineapple that, uh, that was tall enough. Yeah, but I made it for or three, just so it's a little bit more manageable. I would do at least three. You know, two makes kind of a short time. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's about fine too. But uh, yeah, I, I thought three would be Three's good. Three's perfect height, not too tall, but still focal enough to be beautiful centerpiece where everyone's gonna be asking about yeah. it. Yeah, okay, so here's the fun part. We're gonna now, because we put 
holes in here, we're going to run it through. Don't do that yet. Okay. Okay, so we have this bottom one. See, I'm making this really secure so that nothing kind of tips over. Uh, so not only am I going to just stack the pineapples on top of each other, I actually have skewers here too. So let's put a couple of skewers on the bottom here. This is where it's nice to have some help. Okay, do you want four or do you want just two? Um, let's just do two, that okay. be good enough. Then put that over while I line up line it up with the skewer. Perfect. Are we good on both sides? Yeah. All right. right. Oh, look, there's a little piece here. Mm, lucky. Mm, that's how, good. How lucky for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since that piece, I'm going to put it on this side because the little hole there. Great idea. Oh, wait, this way. It doesn't matter. Okay, good to know. Okay. All right, you're good. Look at that. That is so cool. It looks pretty cool it's so already, cool. right? I love it. Okay, it's a little messy here. With all the juices. Wendy Lee is tuning in from Newfield, Maine. Hi, from Maine. We're getting a lot of East Coasters, from Maine and Vermont. I today. know, and Florida. Lots from Florida. Florida. As well. You know, we always get people from Florida. It's so great. Uh, you know, I, I love hearing from people all over the world, really. So thank you for tuning in. Yeah, we love doing this for you. So we hope you're enjoying it. All right. Okay, so then we need palm leaves on top of that, okay? Mm -hmm. I didn't have any palm leaves at home, so what do you do? Pick them <laughs> from the plant, your neighbor's plant. Right, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so instead of doing that, I almost did. Uh, they had some across the street. I was like, okay. should I go in at night and get some? Uh, no, I actually had some uh, like house plants, and, and okay. I had leaves from there. I thought, well, that kind of looks like it could work, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want well, to put the camera on top here, uh, I have yeah, this PVC pipe with the aluminum foil on top. So I'm going to use that kind of as like a place to put uh, my uh, leaves. So kind of put the hole there, and. We could just kind of like put these on top here. It's kind of like a vase for the. Yeah. So now, if you know you live in an area like Maine, for uh -huh. example, can you buy palm fronds at, I guess, a garden store? Is that what it's called? <laughs> uh, possibly. Uh, you know, when I lived in Boston, I don't remember what we could buy there. Uh, but improvise because, like I improvised here, you know, I, I use just 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 yeah uh, house plants, and I've even done where I got like green uh, like not tissue paper but green like cellophane mm -hmm. and just bunched it up, and you so you have green cellophane that's bunched oh, that's up, cool. and that looks like you know palm leaves. Uh, so you can really improvise. Oh yeah, and then or go to the fabric store. I'm sure they have some faux things too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, like I've made like paper, uh, like out of construction paper, palm leaves. Oh, cool. And we have a tutorial uh, on eHow on uh, making a palm tree out of paper. Perfect. I uh, actually did a Facebook Live on it last year. Uh, so uh, that's you know, another way to do that. So, so let's recap what we've done today. Uh, we made a pineapple palm tree uh, Serving, serving tray. tray. And uh, so it doesn't look that great right now here, but I would add like some uh, kale or, mm -hmm. or, or, or some, some greenery or, or grapes or fruit just to like cover this up here. So, Perfect. So it looks a little bit more finished. Put all your fruit right on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this kind of gives you the basis. And also, uh, don't think that we are like wasting this pineapple. Oh. Uh, because you know, it's, it's like the serving tray, but afterwards we can eat it. Yeah, you because know, uh, we could. You know, we'll disassemble this mm -hmm. and cut off you know, those sides, and the fruit's perfectly good. We made it food safe by you know covering this you know, in, tin foil. in tin foil, so it, it hasn't touched anything bad. Uh, and uh, you know we're not going to let this pineapple go to waste. We're no, gonna... because pineapple should never go to waste. No. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, and it was. I just had that piece, and it was like really, really good. <laughs> so, so this is great for your outdoor parties. Uh, 
all yeah uh, i love this i want to make one my own this summer if i do i will definitely let you know yeah yeah so and, and, if, and if, if y'all do it you know let us know too yeah uh, please we love to see anything that you guys create just tag us in it online and we would love to see it this is looks pretty good yeah. for, for just doing it live on camera I agree. and then uh to recap here we did this Wine bottle tiki torch. Wine bottle tiki torch. So we you know, spit a little, spit a little. So this is also great because it will help with bugs too, right? Uh, that's that's actually right uh, because it is citronella. So this will help uh, kind of resist bugs and uh, so they don't you know fly around this, this summer. <laughs> Perfect for those late summer nights. Yeah. So. I love it. Well, I hope you had fun. I did. Thank you so much for teaching me. He's a great teacher, guys. Oh, you're a great teacher. I was so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> no, these projects are pretty easy, though. They you are. Admit. Yes, if I can do it, you guys can do it, and I definitely, I encourage you to. It was so much fun. Yeah, even that pineapple palm tree, I was like, it wasn't that hard. But definitely, I recommend getting a funnel for this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some rocks to put on the bottom. Yes, definitely. Okay. So Cool. Well, all right. Great. Thank you. Thank you. We had so much fun. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend. Have a great summer. Have a great Father's Day. Bye, guys. Bye.